After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the Twelve Colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the Ad Hoc Fleet Headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Hello everybody and welcome to a new series, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I'm looking forward to playing this game, it's, uh, it's a fan favourite of mine, so let's see what it's all about. Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilised. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Now this is a turn-based game, but it is obviously set within the Battlestar Galactica um, kind of, well, universe. Um, I'm a big fan of Battlestar Galactica, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. I have had a quick dabble on the kind of solo single-player mission, not the campaign. But I want to run through the campaign, so this is what this series is all going to be about. It's just basically playing the campaign through. Um, I do know there's some expansion packs, so we'll be looking at the expansion packs as we go as well. So let's jump straight into it and see what it's all about. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below if you are enjoying it. Okay. Time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Okay. We use the right mouse button or Q and E to rotate. And WSD to move around. So let's head on forward. Oh, forgot about that. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Now I do know another one might appear here. We'll give that a go. Then turn. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. Okay, you here can we go. Access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Okay. Turrets. Focus fire. Go. 
turrets and we'll focus fire again on that nemesis there get them into here Just keep you there. Oh, taking some side damage there. They're gonna ram us. Oh, they've just gone straight over us. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Okay, well we have turrets on the Dreadus front and rear. Confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. But let's Scanning just... for further intelligence. So say we all. So say we all. I just want to keep the left armor away from him, and we'll change your target fire. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Okay, we'll use the missiles on that target there, so when he comes into range... We'll actually move him. There we go. Missiles incoming! Oh, they've launched their own missiles as well. It's on the side that's Missiles incoming! Oh that's took a lot of pain. That's gonna hit our rear. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Okay. Tech bay is damaged. First of system. The engineering crews aboard those ships to hot fix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Okay. Tech bay for that one as well. Well, we haven't got much rear armor, but we should be okay. Can't launch yet. Let's continue the battery on this one. There we go, he's going down now. Our rear damage is going down as well. Okay, let's get him swinging round. That target's nearly dead now. Okay, this one. His right arm is not that great, so we'll keep him there. Press M to access the tactical map. Oh, okay. That's pretty smart. Okay, end turn. Oh, he's turned away. That's good for us. Hammering his rear now. Yeah, let's get him to take him out. Get him to switch targets. Understood. We'll switch target to cancel target. Focus fire. Nemesis number two. We'll get a few more pop shots on him. Okay. Let's make sure he remains with him. And he can swing yes, down man. to that, like so. Oh, we have missiles. Missiles incoming! So our front armor should be okay with that. Right, that target's down. Let's get you swinging around ASAP. You're going for it. Oh, he's launching missiles at the da Daedalus. Let's actually boost our thrusters. And we'll target missiles on that nemesis there. Daedalus is under attack. Okay. Yes, sir. We don't need to boost our thrusters anymore. That target can go there. We'll fire it. I don't yes, know if man. they'll reach, but I think it might do. No, he's dead already. 
I don't know where that missile is going. All hostile contacts are down. Okay, we this mission done and dusted. The, the battle, if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Uh, no, thank you. You can watch the videos if you want. Let me know if you do want to watch the videos. If that's what you really want, I can play them at the end of each battle. It just kind of just like little cutscenes, like it does in the films. But uh, we go straight to the missions. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Okay. Missions, Chapter Two, Kane Athena. Has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the tough job of colonial fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Okay, let's... Where are we? Select fleet group Daedalus on the strategy index and give the jump command. Jump command, select jump location. Pycon, is that Pycon there? Yeah, Pycon there, confirm jump. Mm. Okay. And let's proceed to chapter two. Okay, click on unit projections to reposition your fleet during FTL insertion. I think we'll be alright with that to be fair. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contact sparing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got target dead ahead, one on the right, one on the left. Let's concentrate on taking out each target at a time. So we're actually going to. The Athena can actually hold her own. On so it, we'll use these two manticores to take out this target here. Let the other one come closer. We'll do that there. Uh, and turn there. Okay, that's small objects there. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Right click on a unit and select it by pressing space. Posture. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Okay, we'll shove on offensive for now. Firing go. solutions updated. Let's. Guided missiles on Nemesis. Missiles on their way. And we'll fire your guided missiles as well. Missile tubes prepped. Okay, let's just so raise say her we up. All. Raise her up there. Keep you moving in that general it, direction there. I'm going to dispatch the Vipers. Launching alert, Vipers. No focus, no focus fire just yet. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Oops, we've already launched them. Okay, air squadrons. 
bunch of squadrons. That's fine. Select target. We want to select yes, that sir. target there. Select target. And we'll select that target there. What are they hacking? I think we're alright for now. He's running actually, so that's good for us. That's fine. See how that does there. Oh, missile warning, there's the missiles. to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Okay. Select target. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that as well. How's that looking? Right, he's almost dead, so we'll move this one around. And we'll actually focus fire on that target there. You can continue chasing them there. We'll bring you in. Focus fire on that target there. End the turn. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Missiles incoming. Okay, let's just bring her to that. I want to keep that there. Have we taken out the enemy fighters? We have, yeah. So let's recall. Uh, we can recall. Recalling squadron. And we'll recall that squadron as well. We don't want to lose both of them to these larger fighters now. Bring you yes, around man. here. Just have you back to normal. Let's launch our guided missiles. Okay, and turn. Hostile unit identified. Okay. I'm actually going to swing it round here to face that target because this. One here can finish it off. Yes, sir. Let's focus fire on the Talon. Oh, no. did that focus? Yeah, that's fine. And then cancel your target, focus fire on the Nemesis. Launch your salvos on the Nemesis, and you can. Oh, no. Launch your salvos on the Nemesis as well. I think they can go up there. Now, will her flak. Take out. I doubt it, but we'll give it a go. And turn. Okay, he's actually moving into the flag. Which is good for us. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Yeah, we are beating them to their explanation, but not to worry. Right, what is this left armor is taking a pound in so we'll bring him around this way what's being hacked nothing yet we need to repair our fire control actually we need to swing you right round and turn Is that cancel target focus fire on the nemesis? 
you need to swing around there more. Focus fire on the Talon. There we go. Sir, PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. Fun times. Okay, that fire control's still down, so we'll swing him back round yes, here. Commander. Okay, Jupiter class. Are we hitting them with a the flak? No, let's just bring us in and lower. Should hit the flak then. How are you doing? Fire control's offline. That's, that's no good. Okay. Fire our guided missiles. Cancel the flak. Flare control still not online. Okay, end turn. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's on our left side as well. Oh, it's taking our rear now. Okay, let's. Bring fire control back online. Boost the thrusters. And we'll launch our guided missiles as well. On it, Commander. Okay, let's get you yes, there. Sir. Boost your speed up. Launch your guided missiles. That way there. And turn. trying to run but we are much much faster okay go yes, keep sir. with them can we get you up there any quicker let's boost your thrusters not much so quicker, we but we can launch our guided missiles on their way. and turn. He's definitely trying to evade us. Okay, let's it, keep it going. Let's launch the Vipers. I think it's going to die before they'd even get there, but let's launch them anyway. Yes, sir. Okay. You can stop boosting your. Shields now. Your left arm is taking a battery, so we'll like to move you to the left side of the enemy. You're just fine there. Yes, Commander. We can actually fire your guided missiles. And turn. Right, he's gonna die off once that missile hits. Oh, it almost did. Yes, Commander. We'll fire more just for good measure. And he's dead. Gradius is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, 
I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Okay. I'm sure we destroyed three enemy ships. Or is that just from the Athena? It is. Admiral? Commander? We have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up yards one and two for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Okay, so we now have access to the shipyards. That looks like we can only build. Okay, we've got the manticore hull underway. But let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Okay, we can rush it. Let's your go. brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Excellent. Units will create their own fleets when finished and can be merged with an existing fleet group at the same location. Okay, select new Corvette. Transfer to the fleet group Daedalus. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Okay. Chapter 3, Transmissions. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind the interference at the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Just another day at the office, right, Commander? Okay. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. This is just the episode one. Um, oh, look at that. I did not know that. So it actually tells you where all the Caprica's there. Ah, that's nice. So, yeah, we're going to leave it there for episode one. This is just the first look of it, and we will be looking at it a bit more. In episode two, we'll continue the storyline. So, hopefully, you'll join me for that. Hopefully, you'll join me on episode two and further into the campaign. And let me know what you're thinking. You know, if, if you know this game's been out for a while now, but I'm a big fan of Battlestar Galactica. If you are, let me know. You know, is it kind of what you expect? Does it does it match the universe in any sense? Um, but for now, that's it for this episode. So make make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you have enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you'd like to receive notifications on more of these videos. Uh, when I upload them. I'm trying to upload them as best I can now, as quick as I can, but obviously quantity over, sorry, quality over quantity, um, so obviously the quality will come first. But until next time, take care for now, bye bye.